most people don't really think about where their power comes from. Interestingly, we would like to uh, get people to realize the you know the value of the extremely large carbon-free generation uh, you know that nuclear really is, uh, because uh, as as people uh, can make those kind of intelligent choices, uh, then we'll probably come up with the kind of cost-effective mix um, that will be successful for the future in combating you know, the climate change that we want, which will be largely nuclear, largely renewables. They should be good partners together, though. especially with all that we know now about running nuclear, a highly regulated state, uh, the waste issue, um, not having technological problems with that. Again, that's more like the, the emotional problem that we need to overcome. It's a technology that requires um, probably a little more technical savvy um, um, than, say, for example, a coal plant. Um, and as a result of that, uh, I think nuclear power seems scary to people because they equate it with weapons, nuclear weapons. There's really no connection. Uh, the, the enrichment of the fuel that we use is not possible to create a nuclear weapon. It's a completely different technology. And so I think that um, it's only scary because people don't get the inside view, which is why we invite people to the nuclear plant as often as possible, to get more people to have the inside knowledge of what we do and to realize that there's no, there's no mysteries here. There's nothing that is being uh, withheld from the public in any way, shape, or form. I think eventually we will get to the point where we will be able to run the country carbon-free on um, nuclear power and uh, the, the photovoltaics, wind, and others combined with storage. When storage hits, hits the scene, that's going to be the game changer um, for the renewables. Right now the renewable technology is there, it's an awesome technology, it's really supporting our goals but we just can't um, produce it at the times that we want and, and to live the lifestyles that we've gotten used to living with electricity 24-7. But when that happens, we will be able to shift. There'll be a step forward, I think, where we'll be able to shift away from the natural gas that we are moving towards uh, at a very quick rate in the country.